made my choice, Addy. And calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as mine own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to endure, sailing among faces of such fairness. It's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, it shall be. We'll find a decent place to drop anchor. I spied a few items in the hold earlier. Powder and a few pistols. I think I'll fashion a second holster if I can. <laughs> It's a good start. One you find laughable. Could we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of linen stocks heaped like tinder and one with a slow match still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder, closer than man and wife, fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons, they might as well be tossed. Clogs touch holes in need of scraping, Corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotted, I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle. Ahoy, Captain. Find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Taken from the holds, just as you said. A little more than a blowpipe. But they'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. You'll find no civilization in NASA. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same. By God, you're a sight for salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. Boy, can we? Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jackdaw. <laughs> you named your brig after a poxy bird. Adi, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. You let him carry a pistol, do you? Peace, Ben. Ade saved my life. And now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men about. But use caution. The shipload of the King's Sailor showed up a fortnight back, causing trouble and knocking about like they own the place. All right. I'll see who I can muster. Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. That's it. You see here. Oh, oh rot. It's fairy stories you prefer a gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoise is how we earn our keep here, lad. That ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy.
Que tengo un buen día, senor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you own. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, señor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English? L little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods. And we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? Please to repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock him in the hold and take everything that isn't nailed down. Not a bad take today. Keep this up and Nassau will be the first city where men and women may live as God made them. Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here, but praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing but your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Fly it proud. I will. I hand over the docket, I lend you. If we're to keep our Republic afloat, We'll need guns, as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own monarch. <laughs> You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah! Ah! Sarge. But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. <laughs> Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming on about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. A fine purchase easy. today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea. Why look! It's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet, ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. <laughs> Hear your 
your say. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous and free and out the reach of kings, clergy, and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. Truth. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? It's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. Would make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat. And slow. <laughs> Careful, Captain! She's sailing for that island. I know the place. A natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. Julian Ducasse, the Templar. Name's right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder at who's sailing her now. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. Maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. Gentlemen, as is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship, Stomp and shout I! Those who oppose, whimper nay. Aye. Never was the king's council so unified. You remember the gift you gave me? Well, it answers just fine. Fist of Putain has bold as a musket ball and still half as sharp. Ah! I'm sorry about this, mate, but I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenye. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still, you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue! Ah. What's this? Is petty larceny the extent of your ambition? Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world, without parasites like you. Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. The cove is ours! Wake up, can we? Start about. 
He left this morning with the galleon, as Faith will discover a good use for this old cove ourselves. Aye, we'll make something of it in time. We could keep a fleet here if we liked. And with a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Might even convince my wife to come one day. You're married, are you? In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Call mine honor. Let me know if you find anything. Odd-looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. Concentrate and focus all your senses. Look past shadow and sound. Deep into matter. Ah, oh, right. I know this feeling. I have since I was a lad. It's like using every sense at once, isn't it? Every man and woman on this earth has in them a kind of intuition hidden deep away. I've had this sense most of my life. Only I thought it was... You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. This way. I have something else to show you. I found something else just here. I think you'll take to this secret much faster. Now this has the makings of a mystery. It's good, isn't it? Only wait till you see what lies at the end. Here we are. What do you think? I think Monsieur de Casse was a man of many secrets. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. What do you suppose lies at the top? From what I knew of de Casse, I wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. An Iron Maiden or a collection of thumbscrews. Or a pair of anguish. <laughs> Not a nice way to kick off. But that is some damn fine gear. Try the key you took from Ducasse. That's one. Only four left. Aye. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here? They've been sent to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning, then? If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest... Suppose I could. 
If it leads me to the four other keys. Bad excuse is better than none at all. Leaving already. I think this cove suits you best, Edward. Better than that costume does. Oh, come on now. We're pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made men. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. Who am I, then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory? I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Meet me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. Is it these monks guarding the treasure you promised me? I told you... something. I can feel it. Captain Kenway? What is the assassin, Duncan Walpole? Dead and buried. After he tried to kill me. We are not sorry to see him gone, but it was you who carried out his final betrayal. Why? Money was my only aim. Should I find comfort in that? You murdered our brothers and sisters in Havana. He has the sense, mentor. James tells me you treated with the Templars there. Did you see the man they called the Sage? Aye. Would you recognize his face if you saw it again? I reckon so. I must be certain. Not a word. Come on. You walked me blind and backwards into this mess, kid. Who the hell was that jester back there? Atabai. An assassin. And my mentor. So you're all part of some daffy religion? We're assassins and we follow a creed, ah. But it does not command us to act or submit, only to be wise. Oh, do tell. I'd love to hear it. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. This is the world's only certainty. Everything is permitted. I like the sound of that. Thinking what I like and acting how I please. Ah! That's a door, I reckon. Aye. And there should be some way to open it. Like a capstan. Those blocks up there. Try moving them. So it's you lot them Templars have been chasing then. Until you came along and mucked things up, it was us chasing them. We had them running scared. But they have the upper hand now. The door's mechanism seems to be broke. Let's find another way around. Follow on, man. Jump! Enough to curse you with, kid! A 
must be a great treasure beyond. Treasure? Right. Whatever's waiting at the end of this path had better be worth my time. That'll depend on you. How's that? Well, I'm taking you to see me spin your head right round. I only hope you could take the shock of it. I can handle myself. That's it then. The grand prize your mentor asked me to see looks nothing like the man they called the Sage, I'm sorry to say. Keep your trousers tied up. We've one more riddle to solve. These statues are like the ones we've seen before, but with pictures carved on them. There's pictures carved on the floor as well, but not of the same sort. There's a correspondence then. But what? Jesus, that's him, the sage. But this thing must be hundreds of years old. Older still. You're certain it's him? Aye. It's the eyes that mark him. Did the Templars say why they wanted this sage? They drew some of his blood into this small glass cube. Like this one? Aye. They meant to ask him about the observatory too, but he escaped. Huh. We're finished, dear. Quiet. The statue in the temple. Was that the man you saw in Havana? Spitting likeness, I. It seems another sage has been found. The race for the observatory begins anew. Is that why we're whispering? This is your doing, Captain Kenway. The maps you sold to the Templars have led them straight to us. And now the agents of two empires know exactly where we operate. Leave this to me, Mentor. They have taken Edward's crew as well. I wonder what their lives are worth to him. Take this. You'll attract no attention and take fewer lives. Use them darts on this one coming now. Quick! Quiet and effective, see? Who's out there? See that mangy old codger? He's a Dutch slaver called Lorenz Prinz. Living now like a king in Jamaica. Bastard's been a target for years. Bloody hell, we nearly had him. By God, you bravos are a cheery bunch, eh? All frowns and furrowed brows. Captain Kenway, you have remarkable skills. Oh, thanks, mate. It comes natural. But you're churlish and arrogant, prancing around in a uniform that you have not earned. Everything is permitted. Isn't that your motto? I absolve you of your errors in Havana and elsewhere. But you are not welcome here. Sorry, mate. Wish it were otherwise. Cheery bunch of mates you've got. You deserve scorn, Edward. Prancing about like one of us, bringing shame to our cause. And what is that? Your cause? To be blunt, we kill people. Templars and their associates. Folks who'd like to control all the empires on Earth. Claiming it's in the name of peace and order. Sounds like to cast his dying words. You see? It's about power, really. About lording over people. Robbing us of liberty. That another message from one of your friends? Aye. I'll show you.
I know you ain't exactly impressed by our creed. So would the sight of money make you more friendly to our ways? As ever. <laughs> then work these contracts around the West Indies for us, and we'll pay you. As simple as that. <laughs> 